I'm Christine Martin, Realtor with Mohican Associates Real Estate. And I'm Peter Siroder, Mortgage Broker with Barrett Financial Group. This is our weekly Phoenix Market Update. I'm a Comfort Report subscriber, and this is a tool that we use to get our finger on the pulse of demand and supply here in Phoenix. This particular gauge here for the market index, 100 is a balanced market. Anytime you're getting above 100, you are then in a seller's market. And if you're below 100, you're in a buyer's market. We are well above 100 at 144 for the Cromford Index. Okay, this graph here illustrates the Cromford Index over time, and you will notice that in the blue is the supply, red is demand, and demand just continues to go up and supply is continuing to go down. Okay, this next slide here is active listings, and you will see that our active listings are down 461 from last week. This next slide here is our listings under contract. And looking at the brown line, you will notice that our listings under contract have increased by 304 since last week, which shows that our demand is continuing to pick up. Let's talk interest rates. So from last week, we were averaging 6.67%, and this week we're averaging 6.57% for mortgage rates on 30 year. Going down a little bit. A little bit. Tip I have for you, if you bought a home last year towards the tail end of the year, October, November, December, and you used an FHA loan, you're coming up on being eligible for an FHA streamline. That's going to give you a chance to get a much lower payment, lower your interest rate, and lower your mortgage insurance as well. So that's something you should definitely talk to me about. Let me take a look at your mortgage statement. And I can see if I could help you. Yeah. And does that cost anything, Peter? There's no closing costs on those rolled into your loan. Awesome. This next slide here is looking at the percentage of closings that have had seller paid concessions. And so you will notice that that is now starting to trend down. It is definitely up from 2020, but we're noticing a trend of those concessions going down. Concessions make a huge difference when it comes to paying your closing costs or maybe buying down your interest rate. So um, losing those is actually a big hit for first time home buyers. So don't sit on the fence too long. It's a sweet spot right now to get sellers to help out. That's our market update. We'll see you next week.